police have said they expect more people to be found dead after a runaway train carrying light crude oil exploded in the Canadian town of Lac Megantic. The blast sent a fireball and black smoke into the air, killing one and forcing the evacuation of 1,000 people. Dozens of buildings were destroyed in the town, about 250 kilometers, 155 miles, east of Montreal. They include a bar full of customers. Police are trying to account for dozens of missing people. The train's cars reportedly uncoupled from a parked engine and derailed early on Saturday. Rail company officials said the train had been immobilized in a neighboring village before a scheduled crew change, but for an unknown reason had then started rolling downhill into Lac Megantic. Eyewitnesses said that by the time the driverless train reached the town it was traveling at considerable speed. Like a movie. The search for more bodies is expected to continue at dawn. Local media have reported up to 100 people missing. View of Lac Megantic on June 6 Firefighters fought the blaze for more than 24 hours. We have already confirmed one death and we expect there will be others, said police spokesman Guy Lapointe. We also expect that the number of people reported missing will be greater than the final death toll. He said some people had been reported missing several times by different family members. Some 120 firefighters have been fighting the blaze, which has continued for more than 24 hours. Firefighters from across the border in the U.S. are assisting. Eyewitnesses reported that the town center, where there are a number of bars, was crowded at the time of the blast, and that chaos ensued. Map Bernard the Burge who was on the patio of the Moosey Cafe at the time, said he was lucky to escape and feared for those inside the bar. It was like a movie, he said, quoted by the Associated Press News Agency. Explosions as if it were scripted, but this was live. A woman described how close she was to one of the wagons. There were some sparks, and the car lifted and came to lie on its side in front of me, but I turned around and ran without stopping, she told the CBC TV. Brakes tight. The Montreal, Maine and Atlantic train had five locomotive engines and 73 cars filled with light crude oil, and was parked in the village of Nance, about 7 kilometers, 4 miles, from Lac Megantic, during an overnight driver shift change, a company spokesman told Canada's La Presse newspaper. The railway's chairman, Edward Burhard, quoted by CBC, said an engineer had parked the train and put the brakes on properly before going to a local hotel for the night. The cars filled with fuel somehow became uncoupled, causing them to roll downhill into the town and derail, said the spokesman, Joe McGonigal. Canadian PM Stephen Harper, what has happened is shocking and truly devastating. It seems that the brakes were tight on locomotives, Mr. McGonigal told La Presse. We found the locomotives higher up, half a mile, 800m, away. Some of the cars exploded, creating a massive fireball and setting fire to nearby homes and businesses. A one-kilometer exclusion zone was set up amid fears of more pressurized containers exploding. When you see the center of your town almost destroyed, you'll understand that we're asking ourselves how we are going to get through this event, an emotional mayor Colette Royal-Arosh told a televised news briefing. Prime Minister Stephen Harper said in a statement, Our thoughts and prayers go out to the families and friends of those affected by this morning's tragic train derailment and subsequent fires in Lac Megantic, Quebec. Some of the train's cargo spilled into the nearby Chaudière River, said Environment Quebec spokesman Christian Blanchet, adding that communities downstream of Lac Megantic had been warned to take care if using river water. A mobile laboratory had been set up to monitor the quality of the air he added. The train was carrying the crude oil from the Bakken field in North Dakota. Montreal, Maine and Atlantic owns more than 800 kilometers, 500 miles, of track serving Maine, Vermont, Quebec and New Brunswick. A lakeside town that is home to some 6,000 people, Lac Megantic is close to the U.S. border with Vermont and 210 kilometers, 130 miles, north of Maine's capital, Augusta.